So the information provided for this question says that the amount of money a performer earns is directly proportional to the number of people attending the performance. So what that tells us is that money earned directly relates to or is directly proportional to um, number of people. And again, all that means is as one of these things go up, the other goes up as well. In this case, as the number of people goes up, the amount earned also goes up. So it tells us that the performer earns $120, so that goes in this left column over here, um, for a performance where eight people attend, so eight goes in this column over here. So now question five says the performer uses 43% of the money earned to pay the costs involved in putting on each performance. So 43% of earnings equals cost. And again, on this test, we know that percentages will always be turned into decimals. So I'm going to just say 0.43 just to remind myself of that. Um, the next part of this sentence or question says the rest of the money earned is the performer's profit. So the rest would be 57%. So I'll just write that over here. 57% equals profit. All right. So 43% equals cost. 57% equals profit. What is the profit the performer makes at a performance where eight people attend? Well, we know from the question that when eight people attend, the performer makes $120. So that $120, right? We know that from that $120, 57% of it is profit. So I wanna basically figure out what is 57% of 120. The way that I do that is I convert my percentage into a decimal, so 0 0.57. The word of always means to multiply, so 0 0.57, I'll put parentheses, of 120, right? So 0 0.57 times 120. Because this is the calculator section, I just go straight to my calculator, type in 0 0.57 times 120, and what I get out is that that is $68.40, which is what the performer earns and is therefore answer choice C.